Hi YouTube, I'm Valerie Morehouse, a celebrity vocal coach, and in this class we're going to teach you how to basically become a better singer, so I hope you're ready to get started. One of the things that we have to do as singers is warm up. It's really, really scary not to warm up because you're not placed when you go to record a record or when you're on stage live. If you don't know where your voice is supposed to sit, the whole show is very, very difficult for the singer. So we really, really want to understand what the warm up is, how it's important. I didn't love warming up either when I was younger, but there's a reason that we're doing it, just like athletes. We have to get the fundamentals down before we sing. So scales are something that we use on the piano and we take the singer through a myriad of exercises that teach them how to use the voice to how to shift like a high performance car from first gear to second gear to third gear, back to second, back to first without stalling their car. And so we want it to be as fluid as possible. And so it's very important to get that seamless sound that we warm up with the exercises first, which are the scales, and then we add the songs next. So at this point, you should have a pretty good idea of what category you fit into if you're a puller or if you're a flipper. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna give examples with the scales and the warm-ups with both of our singers, one being a puller and how to identify it and fix it, and one being a flipper, how to identify it and fix it. So a scale is what we use to warm up the voice. And so typically with any student, I start down, we'll say if this is a male singer, it sounds like this. So I'm gonna play that one more time. That's called a running arpeggio scale. When the singer identifies it and is able to hear it and sing it properly, it gives you a running start and so it shows all your problems and that's what we want. We want it to show the problems because that running scale moves you from chest to mix to head voice and back down. So if there's a problem, in the vocal, we can identify it. So this is again what it sounds like. And we make up half step. And then we go so on and so on until we reach the singer's break. The next one that we do is a very short scale. on and so forth and I will take them on the exercises that we need to fix. If they're a puller, I'm going to give them exercises that are more breathy, more aspirate, that goes against their tendency. If they're flipping, I'm going to give them something like a gi or a go that brings the vocal cords together so they have a little bit more closure so that they can sing with a little more intensity and intention and not be so breathy. So I'm gonna start by identifying the puller and the flipper in the arpeggio scale. This is how we would typically start a lesson and get a singer moving. So Ethan, I'm gonna start with you. We're gonna start in the male key here. Okay. I'm gonna do it once. Gee, 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 gee. The reason that we do the arpeggio scale, just to remind you, is because it shows all your weaknesses. So Ethan's got it. We're gonna start down here. Excellent. So we're approaching that bridge. So he's flipping on the bridge now. Give me one more. So you notice what he's doing when he gets up a little bit higher is the shoulders are going. It's that feeling of, oh no, something's changing in my voice and I don't know how to control it. So we use the arpeggio scale to identify that. His voice started a little heavier and then it got a little lighter as we got to the top. So if I'm really being specific, we have a dual uh, personality here. We have a puller and a flipper. So Ethan's actually a really good example of doing two things at once. He is pulling the TA mus muscles a little bit, but he's also using a little bit too much air at the top of his register. So what I want to do is move to Casey. We're going to start in the female octave, so I'm going to move up a little bit. I want to identify 
what's going on with more of a, a heavier pull where somebody's using a little bit too much muscle. So we're gonna take the arpeggio again because you typically have more weight. I'm gonna give you an aspirate mm -hmm. um, exercise, which will be the Wii. It's got more air in it to create more airflow so it's not so hard. Here we go, Wii. Wee, 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 wee. Good. Awesome. Good job. It's getting higher. It's getting a little bit higher. Here we go. Good job. Give me one more. So you'll hear little cracks in the voice. That's good. I tell all my singers the cracking and being a little bit pitchy with the vocal cords when you're warming the voice up is a good thing. When you're trying to control every single note, nothing good is happening. The vocal cords are like muscles, like stretching. They have to warm up before you engage. So I encourage my students to do that. Not everything has to be perfect, especially in the warm up. That's where we get to show all the mistakes. So if you see what Casey did, she went all the way up the scale, but because I gave her a breathy exercise, like a wee, she didn't grab and she didn't pull and she actually did really well and she made it all the way up to those high notes. If you're a male singer, you're gonna start with the arpeggio scale and I'm gonna help walk you through it. So we're gonna go to the bottom. We're gonna start in the male octave down here. So what you're gonna do is if you fall into the category of being a flipper, then we're gonna do exercises that are opposite of that. So if you have too much air in your voice, you're gonna do something a little harder, what we call glottal. I like to usually typically start with a gee, so it's not breathy. It's gee, 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 gee. So you try it with me. And then we're gonna go half step. Same thing. We're gonna go half step higher. One more. Now, give me one more. You should have noticed if you were a male singer that you have a problem there. That's the bridge, the F. F sharp, 99% of all male singers have a problem on the F or the F sharp. That's where they do one of two things. Again, we talk about they're either too much muscle or too much air. So if you have too much air in the voice, you'll feel it's heavier. You'll feel that as opposed to the gi will help you bring the vocal cords together a little bit in more function. Now the other thing that you can do, shorten the scale. So we're gonna run through the short arpeggio. It's just a shorter way to deal with the scale. It's actually harder to do than the running arpeggio, but I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So if you have too much air in the voice, a really, really good exercise for you to do too is a bub. It's very neutral. It's not too breathy and it's not too chesty or pulley, if you will, for lack of a better term. So I'm gonna walk you through it. I'm gonna start bub, 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 bub. Now you go. And we're gonna go half step. I'm gonna go ba 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 ba. Now you go. We're gonna go half step. Ba 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 ba. Now you go. Another half step. Ba 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 ba. You go. One more. Ba 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 ba. Now you go. And just start with that. You'll start to feel the strength in your voice and you'll get rid of some of that air that's escaping through the vocal cords. So if you are a male singer as well and you have the opposite tendency, so you're not singing with too much air, but rather you have a, way too much muscle in the voice and you're pulling up the chest voice, we're gonna start a little bit higher so we wanna to get to the bridge, the FF sharp, where you really feel the problem. I'm gonna demonstrate that with an exercise that gives you a little bit more air in the voice. So we're gonna go back to the wee because it's very aspirate. So you'll go wee, 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 wee. Now you go. Now wee, 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 wee. Now 
now you go. Wee, 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 now you go. Wee, 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 now you go. Wee, 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 now you go. We're gonna do one more, here we go. Wee, 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 now you go. So you'll find that that's the F. That's right where the man's bridge lives and sits. Beyond that's a little trickier, but just go that far and use the we to add a little bit of air to your voice so it doesn't feel so heavy and so pulled and so much tension in the neck. And that's the best way to approach that at home. So now we're gonna switch gears and we're gonna move into the female voice. So I'm gonna move up a little because we have to start up the higher octave for the female ear. So if you're a female singer, this is too low. This sounds a little bit more right for you, right in that key. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up the same scale, but we're gonna deal with the female flipper. We're gonna do a go. Go, 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 go. Do you hear the hardness of that G? It's guh, guh, guh. That gets your vocal cords together if you have too much air. Go, 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 go. Now it's your turn. Now I'm gonna demonstrate. Go, 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 go. Now it's your turn. Now I'm gonna demonstrate. Go, 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 go. Let's keep going. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. And that's really past the bridge. So a woman's bridge, again, is an A to a B flat. I've taken you all the way up to a B. So what that G does is it just gives you a little bit more chord closure. So the vocal cords are shut a little bit more so you can feel the air leaving and you can feel the chest voice coming in a little harder. So we're gonna go back to the female voice now and we're gonna deal with the puller. And so that's, again, when you have too much muscle in the voice and you're just grabbing at everything and, and everything feels loud, we wanna pull that back. So we wanna add an exercise that's a little bit more neutral. We're gonna go back to the wheeze where we come in and you sing wee, 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 wee. You can already hear there's more air in the voice. It's more soft. It's not as hard and grabbed. So we're gonna take that and you're gonna follow along. Wee, 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 wee. Now you go. Wee, 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 wee. Now you go. Wee, 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 wee. Now you go. And let's do one more. Wee, 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 wee. Now you go. And you're on the bridge again. For female, you're on that B flat. That's the note where you're gonna do one of two things. You're gonna pull or you're gonna flip, right? You're gonna have too much air, too much muscle. So that's gonna show you, you've got to the top of the bridge. The we is gonna help you have more air in the voice and more flow so it's not hard and it's not heavy. Again, going against your tendency. So what I'd like you to do at home is practice some of those scales. Learn the running arpeggio scale. See if you can sing that on key and then practice the other smaller scale, which is a little bit shorter, and see if you can help encourage whatever your tendency is, if you can go against that tendency. In this next lesson, we're gonna talk about lip bubbles and why they're so important. I wanna show you what it's like to be able to sing, whether you're a beginner or an advanced singer. It's a lot of work, but put in the work and put in the time because if you really have a vision and you trailblaze that path, you're gonna have success, whatever you do. I've worked with some of the biggest recording artists and singers in the world, and now it's your turn. Join me for my full class on Skillshare by clicking on the link below.